Now, what in the world is there in those cans? Tomatoes, among other things, and Italian sunshine, because there's a lot of Italian sunshine in this very special plum-shaped tomato crop grown on vines close to the ground and extra full of flavour. And beans from Michigan. Bulk consignments of 2,000 tonnes are shipped across the Great Lakes and the Atlantic to be baked and fed into a million cans. Spices from the Caribbean islands, cloves and cinnamon, pepper and nutmeg and ginger. Silver skin onions from Holland, crisp and white and uniform, the very best of the crop, graded for size and hand-picked for perfect quality, Heinz quality. pound casks with meticulous rust-preventing linings are ready to become part of a great cargo. One of the 57 varieties of cargoes bound from all over the world to Heinz, to this food processing plant, the biggest in Britain and the whole Commonwealth. Think of the most fertile countries of the world and the richest foodstuffs, wherever they're to be found. And you'll find ships bringing succulent consignments of them to be put in a bottle or a can for you. Whether it's Dutch silver skins or dates from Iraq. And yet we're so used to it that most of us just take it for granted. We never think of the tremendous organization, the meticulous thought that a great food company has to put into bringing the world to our table. Almost five million cans and bottles of food products every day. All the famous 57 varieties, every one of them demanding different raw materials. At Kit Green in Lancashire, Heinz have their biggest and finest food processing plant. From here and from their two other British factories come the five million items a day. And to them, from all over the world, comes a flood of raw material that sounds like a shopping list for the whole human race, which indeed it is. Beans from Michigan, Chile, Romania and Hungary. Tomatoes from Italy, France, 
Portugal and Spain, butter and meat from Australia, spices from India, Pakistan and Ceylon, Africa, China, Japan, Southeast Asia and the West Indies, dried fruit from the Middle East, Greece, Australia, Spain and South Africa, onions from Holland, Spain, Chile and Egypt, oils from Africa, India, China, the Middle East, Spain and North America, rice from India, Italy and the USA, sherry and brandy from Spain and France, sugar from Cuba and the West Indies, grain from Canada and the USA, garlic from France, Spain and Egypt, orange and lemon juice from Sicily, Spain and California. And all that's only a quick summary of the Heinz worldwide shopping list. But Heinz don't go overseas for their raw materials if they can be grown in Britain. Masses of fresh fruits and vegetables come from our own orchards and farms. Apples from Kent, Essex, Suffolk and Norfolk. Asparagus from the Vale of Evesham. Beef from Scotland. Cabbage from Lancashire. Carrots from Norfolk, Suffolk, Cambridgeshire, Lincolnshire, Yorkshire and Lancashire. Celery from South Lancashire. Chives from Cambridgeshire. Cream and milk from Somerset, Devon and Wiltshire. French beans from Lancashire and the Vale of Evesham. Mushrooms from Buckinghamshire and Kent, Northern Ireland and Somerset. Peas from Lancashire. Plums from Kent and Cambridgeshire. Potatoes from a string of counties in England and Scotland. Poultry from East Anglia, Devonshire and Somerset. Spinach from Lancashire. Turnips from Norfolk, Lincolnshire and Lancashire. That gives you some idea of the scope of it. As for the scale, look at these onions. There you've got Spanish onions in 72 pound cases. And 62 and a half thousand of these cases a year are used in soups alone. Over 2,000 tons of them a year. You've got half a hundred weight of carrots in each of those bags, 25 bags on every pallet. Nearly 10,000 tons come into Heinz in the six month season. Sherry for some of the soups. 20,000 gallons a year are used. And there you are, mushrooms, celery, oxtails and cheeses by the score. What makes a wonderful soup? We'll let you into a secret. Flavour alone is nothing like enough. Take Heinz chicken soup. Come to one of the chicken suppliers plants and don't forget to put on a clean white overall because hygiene is the very